Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really different kind of video for you guys. I think I'm gonna title this travel plan and journal with me because that's kind of the idea that I'm going for. Um, I bought this bullet journal from Scribbles That Matter um, to be like a little traveling journal that I can bring with me wherever I go. But also I decided I wanted to use it functionally as well to help plan my travels and uh, maybe create like packing lists or things like that. I haven't exactly figured out the details and I'm going to kind of work it out as I go along. But um, yeah, I think it might be kind of fun. I did share this journal in a recent haul, but in case you missed that, I'll go over um, really quickly what this journal includes. Like I said, this is the bullet journal from the company Scribbles That Matter, and I actually purchased it off of Amazon. This is the B6 size, so you can see it's about the size or like the length of my palm. Um, I did not want the A5, which is the standard bullet journal size. It's just a little too big for me, especially when I'm bringing it um, as I go. So I really wanted a B6 sized journal and there really aren't that many options. So I really had to do my research and eventually this was one that I settled on. I'm not a huge fan of this red color, to be honest. It's a little intense, um, but unfortunately, like I said, there just wasn't a lot of options and actually it's totally growing on me. So I don't think I mind quite as much as I thought I was going to. So really quick, um, the journal does have this front page and then it has quite a few sheets of these um, index, like key and index pages. Uh, like I think three or four different pages. And then the actual pages in the journal are, um, is this dot grid? I don't know if you can see it. Let me just hold it up to the camera real quick. Yeah, so it's a dot grid journal, which I thought would be really helpful um, when I'm writing in it. And then it does come with a pen loop. I have my Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen in here, which is my favorite pen. And it actually works well with this paper because I already did a pen test. They have a um, designated pen test page on the back, which I love. And so as you can see, these are all the pens that I've tested. And um, there's very little bleeding. The only one that came through was the Sharpie Ultra Fine Marker, which is not really surprising since it's a marker. Um, but the rest of it just has a little bit of the ghosting I believe is what it's called um, but not too terribly and yeah so lots of pages to work with um, and I don't know how long it'll take me to finish this whole journal but I'm excited to get started so um, the first part of course is just going to be a planning um, like the pre-travel plans so that's what I'm starting with today um, the trip that I'm planning for is San Antonio Texas my boyfriend and I are going over our spring break so we'll be there in April and today as of today I think we're about two weeks away so I figured it would be a great time to start kind of thinking about it and planning it out um, and I'll probably the idea is to do a little bit um, you know every few days so I'm not pre-planning all at once but I have some time to think about it throughout the next couple weeks and yeah so I'm sorry for all the rambling I really kind of want to explain my thought process for this we'll see how it turns out hopefully I'll end up uploading it if it turns out cool um, but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this journey and I will talk to you in the voiceover the first thing that I wanted to put in my travel journal is the quote, and so the adventure begins. And what I did was um, I actually found like a picture of the quote that I wanted to use. Um, I just Googled the quote, I think, and then found this like design that I really liked. I tried to look for the person who created this image so I could give them credit, but um, it just led me to a Pinterest page and I couldn't find the credit. So anyways, I just quickly showed you guys where I got my inspiration. And yeah, so I lettered that on the first page. Um, I used a red solo cup to draw the circle around it. And then um, the lettering pen that I'm using is the Tombow Fudenosuke. Because I really can't draw, um, I decided not to attempt flowers around the circle, and I instead found these really cute flower stickers. These are from um, Hello Petite Paper. It came in like a birthday kit that I had used um, for my birthday last year, and I just thought they were so perfect to pull into the spread. That's it for the cover page, and now I'm just moving on to the pre-planning part of my trip. Um, first, I lettered San Antonio there at the top. I believe that one is the Tombow Dual, Dual Brush, I think. Oh gosh, what is it called? It is the Tombow ABT... I swear there's a name dual in there, but I could be wrong. I will link everything down below so you guys know. Um, but yes, I lettered that at the top. And then now I'm just going in and drawing some cute little designs um, on that page. I decided I wanted to track the weather, my flights, and then just have like a don't forget section at the bottom. Um, so because this is the first time I'm doing a spread like this, I didn't really exactly know what I needed. Um, so for next time, the weather section, that little um, cloud that I put in, was not large enough to fit everything that I wanted. 
needed. And so um, next time I will definitely have to kind of make that a little bit bigger. The flights box actually wasn't large enough either. Um, this is a really small journal. So um, I think I just was having a hard time figuring out the spacing. I did white it out to make more room and the white out color is not exactly the same as the paper. And so you can definitely see it. But again, this is just a work in progress. And at the bottom for the don't forget banner, I used my pilot brush lettering pen to write that. And um, I also decided to pull in these really cute deco stickers. These are from Toffee Bananas and it was a kit that I used about two years ago. So I'm not sure if it's still available, but um, it's basically like these succulent designs. And I just think they're so cute and so perfect for San Antonio. The last thing that I did before moving on is I used my mild liner to um, highlight the dates that we were going to be leaving and coming back because I just felt like it didn't really stand out. Moving on to the next page, I'm still uh, pre-planning at this point. I decided to um, split the next page into two sections. So the top being a food and drink section to mark some restaurants and bars that we could check out. And then the bottom was just going to be like a things to do outside of food and drinks. So at the top, I decided to make like a little succulents shelf. Um, I did something similar when I made a sign for my friend's wedding and I really, really like how that turned out. So seeing as I'm using some succulents, deco stickers I felt like that would go with a theme and then at the bottom like I said I was just doing a to do like a things to do list and I used my pilot lettering pen to write that Again, I pull in some deco stickers from Toffee Bananas, and then basically what I did for the food and drink section, which I definitely need to um, kind of revamp for next time because it wasn't very useful, was I just went on Yelp and literally typed in like food, bars, like whatever, and wrote down some of the places that had good ratings or the food just looked really good. And the reason why this system didn't actually work out for me was because um, I don't, it was just kind of a mess. Like it wasn't organized in any way. It wasn't organized by type of food or um, ambiance, if it was casual or more fancy. And so it, it's just a list. Ultimately, I still had to go on Yelp again and look up what they were and then if we wanted to go there. So anyways, I just didn't feel like this list was really functional at all. Um, also, I didn't really look at where things were located. So there were some things on the list that were like super far away and we couldn't really have gotten there. So anyways, I think for next time, I need to figure out a more organized way of creating this type of a list. So if you guys have any ideas, I would love to hear it. You know, this is just kind of like the first time I'm trying this out. So it's definitely a work in progress. Um, and then, yeah, same thing for the things to do. I just kind of like wrote down a few things that we either heard about from friends or that we looked up on the internet. So um, now it's a few days ahead and I think I was getting close enough where I could see the forecast. So I go ahead and fill that in. Um, and then for the don't forget section, I started drawing in a few things, just kind of doodling what, um, were some of the things that I wanted to bring. So definitely this journal, um, my iPhone charger, and then a swimsuit, which I didn't end up bringing because we didn't have access to a pool or anything. On the next page, I decided to do kind of a challenge and draw a map of the United States, or at least part of it, where California um, and Texas are, because I live in California and then we're going to Texas. So I wanted to do kind of like a little map showing where we're going. And um, it was really, really hard to draw the United States, like with all the states and everything. And I completely butchered Idaho. So I'm super sorry if you're from there. I'm sorry your state looks so messed up. It has this weird foot hanging off of it that it's not so supposed to have. Um, but anyways, I don't know why it's so hard because I literally had a map like right next to me. So I felt like I was referencing it, but, um, it was just really hard to do. So, um, definitely lesson learned. And then once I go over it in pen, I found these really cute, um, location heart stickers. These are from once more with love. It's from a travel sheet that she has. And so I put one, um, in Southern California where I live and then one where San Antonio, Texas is, or roughly around the spot. And to make it stand out a little bit more, I colored in the States with my mild liner. The airplane sticker that I pulled in is from Very Cute Designs, and it's super cute. And then at the top, I just decided to letter um, Tuesday, April 2nd, and I just thought that would be a good first entry for, um, for the trip. I pull in some more deco from the toffee banana sheet and then now I'm moving back to the don't forget section. Um, I'm adding in a few more things like last minute things that I wanted to make sure I remembered. So my sunglasses, my toiletries, 
um, my Harry Potter book. I'm on the second book right now. I'm rereading all of them and also listening to a podcast um, at the same time. Um, I wanted to bring my fake eyelashes, which I didn't end up wearing when we went out, um, a pack of gum, and then my neck pillow, which I ended up forgetting. So again, this list was kind of helpful, but also kind of not. So that is it for my pre-planning actually. And like I mentioned, I did bring my journal along with me on the trip. So I did do a little bit of journaling here and there, usually when we were stopped at like a restaurant and I remember to like pull it out and write something, um, but it was kind of like sporadic. So I definitely didn't journal as much as I wanted to, but I'm still really proud that I did anything at all. Um, so as you can see, I had like written in the first stop, which uh, we went and got some beers and then we went and got some happy hour at a restaurant that was really good. So I did do that part and then I forgot to, or I didn't have a chance to write in like what we did at night. So um, this part I am actually post planning because obviously I couldn't film while I was on the go. So what I'm doing now is just like post planning and filling in some things that I wanted to um, add to the memory spread. Then on the second day, on Wednesday, we went to the Alamo and we weren't there very long, but it was really cool to just kind of check out and learn some of the historical facts behind it. Um, I saved this little brochure from the Alamo so I could include it in my journaling. And um, initially I wanted to, you know, kind of add a lot of different pieces, but it just didn't really fit. This is a really small journal, like I said. So I ended up just cutting up like the front page of it and sticking it in there. And I just kind of write a little blurb about it and then I move on. So the the next thing that I um, had journaled while I was there, I don't know if you got to see it really quickly, but it was just this drawing of a girl that we saw at a brewery and I really, really liked it. So I wanted to copy it down in my journal. You'll definitely see it again later. And what I'm post journaling right now is actually um, our last meal that we had before we left. Um, we had literally the spiciest chicken sandwich ever. It was insane. I was like crying while eating it and I love spicy food. So I thought I could handle it, but um it was definitely so intense. I was like crying because I was so emotional about how spicy it was. But anyways, um, at the bottom section, I had saved um, my airplane ticket stubs. And so I wanted to just include one of them. And I didn't have space to include the one, um, the flight going there. So I thought I would do the flight coming home. So to create a little background, I found this scrapbook paper that had some like clouds and planes on it, which I thought was really perfect. And I just cut it into a cloud shape. And then I outlined it with a marker so that it stood out a little bit. I glued the flight ticket ticket on there and then I just wrote like goodbye San Antonio and thanks for the memories um and that's pretty much it for my post planning so now I'm just going back and showing you all of the pages that I have so far in my little travel journal um I think there's definitely things that I could improve upon and definitely you know room to grow but I really really like the process I enjoyed it so much while I was pre-planning um while I was journaling there and then also like journaling when I came home so again this is just like kind of new to me but I I'm really enjoying the process so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's definitely very different from my usual planning and let me know what you think about this um, if you are interested in seeing any more of these type of videos I do have a trip to Hawaii coming up in June um, so this is something that I could do again for that if you're interested so thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey and um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys next time bye